thank you so much we finally did it we got to 10,000 subscribers I saw the notification as soon as I was leaving the house so the video that I was gonna do today talking about the onyx and all that just forget it I just wanted to make this video super quick a couple minutes long just thanking you guys um, I got to go to work like always but it's crazy to see that uh, I feel like I was just celebrating 1,000 subscribers not too long ago, even though that was about a year ago. It's just crazy to see like how far we have got just doing fun videos and I'm just enjoying myself. So thank you guys so much. And if you're new to the channel and you like e-bike stuff and you like people modifying stuff and uh, I don't know, you're just really interested in watching people vlog and talk about these bikes and stuff like that because we're going to have new bikes on the channel. I'm going to be buying some myself, you know, down the road. The more I get supported on YouTube, the more money I can make and the more money that goes back into my YouTube channel with bikes and accessories and stuff like that. Plus, we get known by more companies. And then if we get known by more companies, we have the potential of getting more stuff sent to us. So I really thank you guys. And like I promised, I did say that we were going to do a giveaway and uh 10 000 subscribers came quick i'm not gonna lie last time i talked about doing the giveaway i think we were only at like i can't remember <laughs> were we at like 8,500 or 9,000 subscribers something like that and now we're at a uh, 10 000 and so it's like i feel like it happened within a month and i wasn't even like really ready for it so i still want to do the giveaway trust me um i had some ideas but since you guys are the ones that watch my video and you guys potentially might be the ones that win, um, there's not a lot of people that make comments. I know there's a lot of people that watch my videos, but uh, if you guys that are watching this video right now, give me some suggestions. Like, I'm dead serious. Like, give me some suggestions on what you think might be a good idea of doing a giveaway with. I'm thinking, if you ask me, I have a WowGo mini skateboard and it's like 560 bucks brand new it does i think 25 miles per hour it's a little mini skateboard but it's electric so i was thinking about giving that away i have the original box and everything like that it is used i used it for probably 40 miles or so but i thought that'd be kind of cool to give to you guys so uh if you guys think that might be a good idea i'm thinking about doing that this guy doing donuts way up there what's this guy doing i don't trust this guy at all right here in the trans am all right <laughs> he gonna wreck he's definitely gonna wreck and hit something he cannot do donuts whatsoever to save his life <laughs> would that be some good content on my 10,000 subscribers video guy rex oh my god his car smells like oil <laughs> bro you're burning oil there sir <laughs> oh my god the stuff you see in fresno i swear you gotta love it <laughs> he pulled over because he knows he's gonna go back to the same thing and do it all over again but um Another thing I thought about doing, uh, my first couple giveaways, I actually had Super Clean reach out to me. So we were able to send some uh, Super Clean products to you guys. And I also was uh, an ambassador for Raise Energy Drinks and everyone drinks energy drinks. So it was kind of like a easy giveaway to do. You know, it probably only cost me like 50 bucks or so. Um, I shipped them directly to your house. But uh, I'm also debating if I just do like an Amazon gift card of say like 200 bucks i don't mind doing that also because anyone can use money from amazon but uh i do like giving people something that they can use and i know an amazon gift card is still something you can buy whatever you want with i just think it'd be cool to actually physically give you something that i had and give it to you but uh, if you guys think i should do it differently just let me know and uh, we'll figure it out but the biggest issue that i'm having with this giveaway is i'm trying to figure out how exactly I want to do the giveaway. Now, I'm trying to figure out websites that I can use because I need a website where the people that sign up are the only people that are entered in. I'm not gonna pick anyone from the comments. I'm not going to 
pick anyone that follows me on Instagram. I'm not going to do nothing like that. I really want the people that are watching my videos, watching this right now, that know to put in for the drawing. I definitely need a website where people put in their email address and they can put in their uh, their name and then I can basically reach out to them if uh, they win in the drawing and I can give them an email and then we can go from there and if no one gets back to me through email or has like a valid address in the United States then uh, we just move on to the next person and do it again but I think that's what I want to do but let me know if you guys know how people are doing giveaways because I'm not a hundred percent sure I was gonna ask my friend uh, he's in uh, Clovis, he's called the Inja, and he's doing a giveaway for an electric motorcycle. So if you guys want to put in for that too, you can. That thing is badass. That thing does like 100 miles an hour or so, but you can put in for that if you want. Go check him out, cool guy. I'll definitely get it together one of these days where I figure out, you know, this whole giveaway thing. So then the next time we do it, when we hit a certain amount of subscribers, it's going to be a lot more easier. Because I just want it to go nice and smooth. I don't want to feel like I am uh, selecting someone that I might know. You know, I want it to be random. I want someone that I do not know win. And I really want someone to be happy with whatever I'm giving them. So... It's pretty much my appreciation for all the money that you guys have helped me make with all the likes and the comments and watching the, the views and having to stick around to skip the ads because obviously I already know everyone skips ads but you still have to watch them and that still pays me some money, you know? So I really appreciate it. If you guys notice, this is actually the first time that I've taken the Onyx out and I'm trying to test for, for rattles and stuff. And there's definitely some noise coming from the bike still that I need to address. We're still missing some stuff. We're missing some screws on the side panels and whatnot, but that's for another video. Like I said, the main thing was just to talk about me doing a giveaway that we reached 10,000 and the thank you guys, which is probably the 10th time I said that. I am really thankful because I'm being myself when I do these videos. I don't hype up the videos for no reason. I'm pretty honest with myself. Now I try to hype up the like the intros of the video because I want to get you guys excited for whatever I'm, whatever I'm going to talk about. But hey, if I don't like it, I'll say something. <laughs> you guys already know. Oh, that could have been bad. <laughs> we just hit a water bottle that just ran underneath our tire. Um, if you guys can do me a favor though, please, on these next couple videos, including this one, hit the like button because I'm trying to buy the Rebel Touring battery for my Onyx RCR. And that battery is $1,500. I did put the deposit on it for the pre-order, but I still don't know if I'm gonna make that, uh, that amount yet. <laughs> Turning radius sucks. Are you trying to ride it? In eco mode? I don't know. It's up to you if you want to try it. I do want to try it. Yeah? Right now, right now? Right now, right now. Alright, I'll park it right here. It's real nice and smooth. I'm going to try to crash like Paul and slip them off. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good now that I like see it at night time. Yeah, yeah. You got to be uh, gotta be gentle with it, Michael. <laughs> How fast does that one go? Uh, I've got it to 52. Where's Michael at? Michael's out here riding this thing. At least he's getting some practice on it. I put it in eco mode for him because I don't want him to wreck on it, but hopefully he's having a good time out there. If he had a helmet, I would definitely turn it up for him, but we got to be safe out here. But it's kind of cool to see people ride my electric bikes to kind of see how they look because it gives me an idea of how I'm looking when I'm out there, you know, stunting for all the bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Think if it, if it was on sports mode, it's it's way more like vicious, dude, and you have to like be careful. Well, it's good you got to ride it. I would say turn it up, but at the same time, it's not gonna be good because you don't have a helmet either. So, right. yeah, and yeah, this sure. bike is dangerous. No, it's it's it, it is scary. Like um, like you have to respect it so that way you don't fuck up. You know? Yeah. So, like I understand like. I can really get myself hurt on it. Like yeah, and it's heavy too, man. It's it's real heavy. You feel the weight when you turn and stuff. It feels great going straight. It's just not a very good turner. Obviously, you probably already saw when you were moving it here. It doesn't 
Yeah. It doesn't have the maneuverability like it hits the frame every time. Right. So. Carlos? Are you trying to ride it too, Carlos? All right. No, I like it though. It's cool. Dude, I like it for a thousand bucks. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I've probably only put like maybe 14 or 1500 like total, like including the bike into it. Okay. So, yeah, not bad at all. It's going to be basically brand new. New battery. The only thing that's going to be really older or used is the... Uh... Motor. The motor and the controller, yeah. yeah. All right, man. Go yeah, I'll see you, man. I gotta go edit my 10,000 uh, subscriber video that I did coming over to work. <laughs> so I can just go. I just want to put it out tomorrow, just real quick. Yeah. It's gonna be me riding super quick, so nothing crazy. <laughs> I know. And and Art was a 10,000 one. What? Yeah, Art was uh, the 10,000 subscriber. I was at 999 before I clocked in. I was like, hey, Art, are you subscribed? And Matt's like, dude, subscribe. And he's like, I'm not. How do I do it? And I told him to hit it. And as soon as he hit it, it updated. <laughs> All right. Take care, brother. See you, guys. Oh, some cops. <laughs> I wonder if I scared him because he sure scared the shit out of me.